Okay, so I've summoned my two fandoms. I got Charak here and Gexen, I think is the way to pronounce that. Both of these uh, fine gentlemen again off Twitter. Hello, gentlemen. Oh my, oh my word! It's Charles Bronson. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yes, yes. We must punch. You're quite right. You're quite right. Let's do this with a shield though, because I'm not as brave as you. Let's go. Towards victory. So these three guys, these bosses. I say three guys, three women. I suppose technically, are probably the nastiest boss to do solo early game, just because well, there's three of them and one of you which can make this a bit rough. A lot of people also get caught out by that as well. Because, I mean, you get in here, uh, you get in here quickly and then suddenly this thing jumps on you, which is a bit rude. Oh, we really don't all want to be all be in the same place, do we? Yes, look at Yes! The League of Punching. Uh, uh, uh. So once we get rid of Yahim, uh, we get... Bow, bow, bow. Uh, uh. Good word. Uh, I've been stabbed. Bad times. Oh, I'm almost dead. That's also not good. Okay, dead. Right. So, swig a bit of orange juice here. He will come up, but we want to go down, really. Ugh. We take the life gem, for anyone wondering, so the f we don't take too much damage from the fall. Ooh. Now, this fight isn't too tricky, as long as you keep a few basic rules in mind. The lock-on is not your friend, and you will need to abandon it when this happens. So... And barring that, just try and keep them both in sight all times if you can. Is the other rule really? Wait for them to do the swing. Oh, let's get some punching going. Yeah, you want some? You want some? You want some? Yes! Punch, punch, punch. And that's Alyssa down, which is the one over there, and. Yeah, good work, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Woohoo! Yes, victory! <laughs> Excellent. This is amazingly good fun getting people in from Twitter as well. Like keeping this uh, sort of community spirited. Ooh, 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 ooh. Excellent. So that would be the um, sort of those trio down. Like I said, they are a very difficult boss to do solo. Um, it is possible. But, basically, they have a lot less health in solo as well, which is something important to remember. Uh, basically, you start, obviously start up there, you have to polish off that one quickly, and when you drop down here, you have to keep them both in your sights at all time, and roll the attacks and attack them afterwards. I did it on one of my runs, my mage run. It's not too bad, if a little bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, with that out of the way, oh yeah, secret wall, should probably... Yoink. Illusionary wall, Wait that message. Alright there, mate. So, just check. Nothing in the chest. I know people say you can see them breathing or you can see their teeth, but it's just not worth the chance. And we got some rouge water. Rogue water. Lol. And that, my friends, is that. Beware of trap. Yeah, there's a turd in here. Look at this guy. He goes pop. He blows up. He's an asshole. He will kill you after the bosses. He, he does, doesn't really care. And there's a nice soul here. Like, and so we get to a bonfire. Now, ordinarily, I'd end the set there and do the usual co-op stuff that I'd show you, but there's something quick I want to do, which is go down those stairs there. So, what we're going to be doing is basically joining a new covenant. Uh, this is one of the PvP covenants, and I want to show you. I want to show you some PvP anyway because it's pretty good fun. And well, I mean, you guys are interested, so. Plus, it's, it is one of the more fun ones to do. I don't have the stats, nor do I have the, uh, well, probably the ability at the moment to do it. But we will, uh, we will give it a go, nonetheless. So we use our precious Faris Lockstone, which opens up the wall. <coughs> which gives us a new area, which is the Belfry Luna. And for one, people wondering, yes, there is a Belfry uh, Soul as well. Yeah, he's a little bit loopy, but he's also a covenant man. A very long time, I imagine. To guard this bell for the prince's honor. Stay away, foul undead, or you'll be a goner. Stay back! It belongs to the princess, it do! 
You get the idea. He does this again for a bit. You wish to guard the bell, you do. That we do quickly, sorry, quickly before I get invaded, which is what's happening right now. I'm getting invaded, so let's do this quickly. We are now part of the uh, pact, which is great. There we go, bell keeper seal. Shit. Okay, so we've been invaded, so we're gonna have to really uh, try and. Well. Okay, so this man's trying to kill me. Uh, obviously, it's not a good thing. No, no, sir. If you want me, you're gonna have to come down here. I'm not stupid. You have spells, I do not. Bollocks! Of course, the other problem, of course, is we get more than one. As long as this goes on, the worst is gonna be. He ain't gonna come down, is he? Oh, he is. It's fine. Of course, with the other man here, we're just gonna have to just try and fight both at once, which is not impossible now. Uh, we'll make do, I guess. I'll punch ye! Ugh. Ugh! Too many dudes. I probably could have taken that one, actually. I reckon I could have done. But not both of them. <laughs> well, what is it? However, this is not really what I wanted to show you. I mean, me dying was inevitable. That's one of the things you have to accept when you go in there. You will get invaded. And unless you go through the fog door, you probably will eventually die. Unless you kill enough that they stop invading you for a while. There is an internal cooldown on invasions, and after a certain amount, they can't do any more. Um, so it does stop you getting, like, super bummed. I didn't spend my souls after the boss today. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, so I'm going to have to go get those, and I hope I don't get invaded in the meantime. Excellent plan, Halloween. Genius idea. Yes, let's go and do the PvP area without spending our souls from the boss first. So if we die, we can't get them back. Brilliant. Utter idiot. Now, let's see if I can do this quickly before I get invaded again. <laughs> right, got my souls back. <laughs> Problem A gone. Now, I want to quickly show you one of the fights. Let's try this, shall we? So, we put on the Bellkeeper's seal. And normally, it happens pretty damn fast. I don't know whether it will do that as we're climbing a ladder. It's probably unlikely, but... Cool. So, what I'll do, I will just save you the tedium of waiting around, and when we invade someone, we'll give that a go quickly. Okay, there we go. A trespasser set foot in the bell tower, invading the world's of grey spirit. That's essentially what happened to us, but this time we're the invader. So, we lose absolutely zippo for dying. Because it's part of the combat, really. Invaded the world of Elvis! Alright. Uh, sadly, Elvis has died, and I uh, haven't really done anything. Never mind. Well, goodbye, Elvis. It was nice knowing you. I will fall in. Uh, I get a tight night chunk for my effort. Quote, quote. Such is life when invading souls. Beep. And we're going again. So. Oop. Hopefully, this time. Invaded the world of Brute. And Brute doesn't seem to come up here yet, so might be able to say hello before he gets done in, or I get- Oh, there it is! Alright, Brute! How's it going, mate? I'm gonna punch you! The best thing about Dark Souls is just a game about punching people! The genius of Dark Souls. Totally choose that. Come on, man. Come on, man. You can do it. Believe in the fists. And he's dead. <laughs> Good work. Sorry, brute. I had to punch you. Anyway, so that's the sort of uh, the PvP in the game. I will be doing a few more of these. I'll be doing videos probably entirely of this and lots of other silliness, but just not tonight. I hope you've enjoyed the set, and uh, I might be doing a set tomorrow, depending on how it goes. I might just do it Saturday or Sunday instead. So either way, thank you very much for watching, and until next time.
Courage will fall.